So welcome to TechSoup's Public Good App House demo event, Apps for Community-Based Fundraising. I welcome Heather Infantry, Senior Director of Strategic Partnerships for Giving Gap. Heather is the founder of the Atlanta Task Force for Philanthropic Reparations, created in response to her public call out of the Community Foundation for Greater Atlanta's exclusion of Black arts organizations and COVID relief funding, resulting in an unprecedented contribution of $1.4 million to 33 Black organizations. Heather was also the managing director for the Transformation Alliance, a collective advancing equitable transit oriented development as a pathway to Black prosperity. Prior to this position, Heather served as the executive director of Generator, retro futurist Beltline Social House, whose mission is to bring together people to generate ideas that shape the future of cities. Thank you for joining us, Heather. And thank you everyone for tuning in today and to my fellow panelists. It's great to be able to come online here and share with you um, my passion and the mission of Giving Gap. Giving Gap exists to advance racial equity in giving and to mobilize positive action in support of Black lives by connecting people to causes that they care about most. So only a tiny fraction of the $450 billion that's given out to charities each year support uh, Black organizations. We have found even in cities where there is a significant uh, Black population that grant making typically disproportionately is denying access to Black organizations to do the work that they see fit in their communities. There's a really interesting uh, report that came out during the pandemic um, from the National Committee for Responsive Philanthropy entitled Black Funding Denied that looked at the grant making practices of community foundations in the Southeast and across the country, um, really speaking to this, this gap in funding that's happening. Conversely, Bridgespan Group did a report uh, called Four Pathways to Greater Giving, where they were surveying um, some of the country's ultra wealthy donors that have signed the US Giving Pledge and found that almost 60% of them reference economic mobility as a funding priority, but they don't have access to a particular platform or mechanism in which they can identify and make contributions in those areas. So there's this gap between one, the visibility of these organizations and donors that have an interest in being able to connect to this kind of work. So following the social uprising during the global pandemic, our founders of Giving Gap created a spreadsheet of black founded nonprofit organizations that they were aware of to generate donor interest in very much the same way folks were being called to support black businesses. And so they wanted to do it in the nonprofit uh, philanthropic space. That spreadsheet is, has become what is Giving Gap's platform today. Um, which now has upwards of 2,000 organizations and growing every day with the express purpose of raising visibility of these groups and providing a very simple, easy way for folks to find and support them. The premise for the platform is also based on the notion that philanthropic support of Black organizations in particular is a critical piece to tackling systemic racism. Black organizations are most likely to be grounded in the needs of Black communities, they have missions that are connected to positive action for Black lives, they employ Black people, and they empower Black leaders. What you're looking at now is the homepage of the Giving Gap website platform, which you can access by going to givinggap.org. And immediately on the front page, there are links that take you to the various organizations that are in our database. So one of the ways in which you can identify groups that are in our database is either um, geographically or by uh, category of area in which these organizations are doing their work. So for example, we have highlighted here food justice and hunger prevention. That's a link that would take you to all the organizations that we have registered under that category. Um, I just wanna know at the time that we had prepared this presentation and shared this screenshot, we had created some curated lists around the Jackson water crisis, which is something that we'll do from time to time if there's a particular social issue that comes up and making it really easy for donors that are coming onto the platform to be able to um, reference those organizations working in those areas. So again, as I mentioned, one of the other ways in which you can filter through the, the organizations on our platform is by geography, by states. And we're looking to build this out further um, as we continue to refine and amplify different um, filters and categories of, of the database um, where you might be able to search by municipality and that sort of thing. But currently what you can do is um, look by state. Uh, 
So if you click on one of these states and it will pull up all the causes that are within that state. This is a sample view. If you were to click on New York, um, this shows all of the organizations. This shows a portion view of all the organizations in the state of New York. And what you'll see here is not only the name of the organization, the city that they're located within that state, we provide a short little descriptor or mission statement associated with that organization, and then a link for you to donate. So you would click on donating for New York Laughs, for example, and you have the option here through our partnership with PayPal Giving Fund to um, administer a donation through PayPal. Uh, for those organizations that aren't registered with PayPal, that is a step that they have to do. That's a separate relationship where organizations will have to be registered through the PayPal Giving Fund in order to accept donations through that platform. And so for those organizations on our platform that, that don't have that affiliation, then what we do is we provide a direct link to their organization where um, users and interested donors, supporters can make a donation through that. Here, um, we're highlighting here in the top right hand corner where you will um, access the navigation tool there for submitting a nonprofit organization to be included in the database, um, which is one of our big calls to actions for the folks that are on this Zoom today. If you are a Black identifying organization that is founded and led by um, a person of African descent, then we invite you to be part of um, our platform and to have your information included um, in the database. And of course, our second call to action, most important one is to support a black organization doing work in the community. Ultimately, Giving Gap is seeking to galvanize 1 million supporters to donate $1 billion by 2030. Thank you.